Mozart was very clear. One of the things he said, which is so important, is that however dramatic the situation, the sound of the music must never be ugly. Because Mozart was obsessed, I mean, in the right moments, by the beauty of melody. That nothing could replace for him the emotional power of a beautiful melody, which, of course, there are masses of in this opera. But what is more than genius is his flair for developing melodrama purely through musical means, rhythm, orchestration, changing harmonies. Mozart's genius extended even to writing the most poignant dramatic silences. This shows how his sense of timing was so perfect. But you see the music, although of course it's written in the 18th century, when you listen to it and study it, you realize how Mozart was well ahead of his time. The invention and the variety and imagination, going down even to the choice of certain instruments to accompany certain characters. I mean, it's, it's almost like late Verdi, uh, Puccini 20th century opera. The libretto, apart from being very witty, but at the same time very serious when it has to be, in a sense, is cinematic. And this is why I like what Christine has done. If you read the libretto, it's not full of lofty, extremely versified, esoteric language. It's earthy. What the libretto actually shows us is how people actually spoke and behaved. It's a snapshot of life in the late 18th century. For me, the libretto is what a cinematic uh, scenario would have been to, I mean, if film had existed in the 18th century. <laughs>